These are the same clothes I was wearing two days ago. <laughs> Is there any crazy. psychedelics in this lion's mane that I'm drinking right now? No, not, not yet. This is where I bottomed out on yeah. drugs and alcohol. I went to rehab. There's so much going on today. I don't know how we're gonna get everything done. Julie's book is due tomorrow. My book is due tomorrow. Two podcasts today and a podcast on Friday. And we just scheduled another podcast for Saturday. Dan Butner is coming over here. And then Monday is the Plant Based Nutrition Conference <laughs> in Anaheim. <laughs> Head is exploded. But it will all get done somehow. It always does. Hey, what's up, brother? Good to see you. How's it going? Good. It's been a while. Good. Yeah. I'm doing all right, man. Yeah. I feel good. 45? Yeah. Um, you know, because one, one storm, one cold front, right, as you know, yep. blows it in from the hard truck. So, yep. Um, it ended up being not so bad. It was like 57. So, oh, cool. Yeah, it just, it, 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 like, the cold water ended up not being an issue, but the, but the weather conditions were insane. Right? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. So you cool. think even smarter. Nice man. We should make some of this. Yeah, let's do what it. Should we, this, uh, what do you what should we make? What would be what's what would set the best mood for the let's, podcast? Let's do no caffeine. Facilitate, <laughs> facilitate the best conversation. Let's do the lion's mane. When your brain needs a hug. Alright man. You wanna wear our headphones? You don't no, have to. No, I don't to. need to. No. You don't need to. I'm good. Yeah. Just make sure you're kinda like let me hear how you sound. Check. Check. That's good. Cool. Yeah. I'm sitting here. Uh, with the original fun guy himself to talk about the magical, mysterious, medicinal properties of the mycelium, the mushroom, right? Yeah, the fun guy. I know. We're yeah. going to unpack all of this. It's really cool. Uh, thank you for coming up here. Thanks thank you for, for this. Uh, thank you for bringing some of your products. We're drinking some Lion's Mane tea. Yay. Maybe a good way to kind of launch into it is just to establish or at least kind of expand people's awareness of this crazy mushroom kingdom because yeah. we don't really think about we think about mushrooms in the context of like mushrooms on our pizza and it yeah. kind of ends there but you know mushrooms are in 40 percent of pharmaceuticals uh 92 percent of plants are dependent on mushrooms 25 percent of the earth's biomass is is uh is, is mushroom based yeah. fungi yeah. based yeah. And I think I read uh, in your stuff, like 85% of our RNA and half of our DNA is shared with mushrooms. Yeah. That's, that's insane. It is pretty insane. We don't even think about it. It's like this invisible reality that surrounds us and informs our world. Um, but it's not part of our like daily consciousness or awareness. I mean, I know you're working to change that, <laughs> but, uh, but that's the truth, right? Yeah. So when does the idea, uh, you know, occur to you to create this business out of mushrooms? Like, where does that well, come from? Well, yeah. So at, at one point I was like, A, I had seen is that like the knowledge I learned growing up in Finland was not commonly available. Like it was one, it was just understanding is that like a lot of people, even a lot of like successful people um, have no clue on, on a lot of the kind of what I consider to be somewhat basic knowledge and nutrition and I saw them the stress levels and just their life quality being pretty low and uh, so that was one thing the other thing is like I you know I just I was me personally was excited about it and I was ordering like random capsules and pills of various superfoods including you know mushrooms from um, shady websites and like <laughs> trying to like put them in my smoothies and and I thought this must dark be, web <laughs> yeah this must be made easier <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah. Good talking to you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, that was super fascinating. I mean, I learned a ton. There's still so much to learn um, and uh, very helpful. 
you know it's just it's it's enlightening and illuminating to realize that there's this whole world out there that uh that I still have so much exploration, you know, to go through. And I think most people do. So thank you for the work that you do and bringing this awareness to the world and, uh, and, uh, helping people achieve better health, man. It's cool. And I'm excited for the new book and the journey that you're on. And I'm here to support you every way I can. Thanks. You've already done a lot. And, uh, for this episode, you should do, uh, the Martian memoji and, and, Piece. Oh yeah, so, I will oh do that. God. Yeah, like instead one of time, instead plants. of a piece and then the plants, I'll put a mushroom. Yeah, for one for one time. Yeah, yeah. that's good. I, I, I like that. that. Yeah. yeah, cool, man. All right, man. Cool. Peace and <laughs> mushrooms. Awesome. <laughs> Tara was great. I think people are going to really dig that podcast. Um, I've known him for years and years and years. I think I first met him in like 2012 very early stages of him uh, creating the company that is now Four Sigmatic. I thought I knew quite a bit about mushrooms, but over the course of an hour and a half with Tarot, I realized there's so much more to learn. And his new book, um, Healing Mushrooms, which is coming out really soon, which I've only begun to start reading, is fantastic. It has everything you need to take your education about about how mushrooms can aid and improve not only your health, but your athletic performance, your mental state, your mental acuity, your sleep, um, and even more beyond that. So it was really cool. He was delightful, and I think, um, I thought it was super engaging. I'm excited to share it. When I get a little bit rattled. I write reminders on my hand just so I don't forget stuff. And I wrote these, <laughs> I wrote this down, uh, wrote these things on my hand and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I have no idea what that M means. Like, I, what is that? What was I trying to remind myself of? I couldn't, this whole drive down here, I was trying to think like, what am I supposed to do? And I just realized I'm supposed to call Marco. How are you, man? Dude, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great, man. Going great. I, I was uh, really digging your Adelo uh, uh, podcast this morning during my workout. Oh, cool, man. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Oh, awesome, man. How was it? Absolutely incredible. It was, life, it was life, insane. Life, life, those life moments. Yeah, it was, it was just, it was larger than life. It was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. And it just, you really? know, it, it just delivered on its promise of being, you know, a, a once in a lifetime, you know, memory forever. Hey, hey, hey how's, how's it going? Great. Good to see you. Awesome. Thanks for making time. Hey, David. Hey, Chris, nice to see you. It's okay if he rolls. Yeah, yeah of course, whatever you want. Did you like fly to LAX, go downtown, and then come here? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you know, that's a very I, ambitious. I know, I know. Tour of LA. I know. Well, cool, man. It's good to uh, it's good to see you. Thank you for making the time. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So you're on day three of your hundred city uh, yeah, tour. Yeah, day that two is actually. Unfold. Yeah. Yesterday was Seattle and. Uh, here we are in Los Angeles, so stop number two. Right, and you're only here for like a day, right? Yeah, pretty much, one city yeah. a day. Uh -huh. I think maybe where you know I come into the picture is, I've been writing about this kind of stuff for about eight years. I mean, this is my whole life. I've done side mm -hmm. hustles. I've always worked for myself in one way or another. But I think what is shifting is not just those things. I think that's been happening for a bit. I think there's a bit of a backlash to the idea that everyone should be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And that's partly where the side hustle thing comes in because I, I feel like, yes, even though there's not great job security, et cetera, um, there's a lot of people who are actually kind of happy in their jobs. And I feel like they have been largely ignored by the whole entrepreneurial culture. Right. Every like if business you're not book, a startup founder, yeah. then you should be ashamed of yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I really do, do perceive that, um, that people you know, feel that. And so a lot of the books, a lot of the resources that are out there are kind of like, hey, quit your job, you know, quit your job, jump mm -hmm. off a cliff, you know reinvent yourself, fire your boss, et cetera. And I'm partially guilty for this, you know, because like I wrote a book called the hundred dollar startup, which had a subtitle, like fire your boss. I think <laughs> yeah. I didn't pick the subtitle by the way, uh -huh. you know, the publisher did, but still. <laughs> Chris Killabelle, it's good talking to you, man. Virtual. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Awesome. So the new book is side hustle. You can find it wherever you, uh, enjoy your literature. Chris Gillibo is easy to find on the internet. Uh, 
at Chris Gill. I know I like how you're started to do Instagram stories. I'm recently. trying. I'm learning. I'm learning know, from man. you. That's good. I've I learned like so it. much from you. I chuckled I the first all time. Your you're like, okay, so I'm going to be doing because I'm oh doing this God. thing. And I was laughing. Oh my I was like, I was like, now I'm going to be embarrassed. This. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> I've learned so much from you. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to check out Chris, he's get, probably coming to a city near you. That's if right. You're in the United if you live, States, if you so, live in a city, right? So wh- how, where do they find the uh, the schedule for where you're going to be? Yeah, that kind it's of actually going to be worldwide. It's uh, oh, the worldwide, first, you know, yeah. 40 cities are U.S. and Canada, mm-hmm. but then it's going to go worldwide. Sidehustleschool.com slash tour. Nice. There you go, man. Anything else you want to say? No, it's a big honor. Okay. Thank you for it? the conversation and thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having it with me, Chris. <laughs> All right, man. Let's let's go have fun with these people out here, right? Rock and roll. Sounds good. good. All right. Peace. Thanks a warm up match for the main event here, Chris. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to be doing this earlier today, but Chris asked if I would get up and just share for like two minutes uh, before he gets up here and um, wows you with his wisdom. I guess you could say my side hustle became self-improvement at that time. Uh, I changed my relationship with food, I changed my relationship to my physical body, and I changed my relationship with how I relate to the world. Uh, and in so doing, I experienced three remarkable changes, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, and that got me very interested in human potential. So this is just like a hole in the wall burrito place, but I always come here. I love it. Hey. This neighborhood's like all bars, so I would get loaded in all these bars, and this is where I bottomed out on drugs and alcohol. How, how does it feel like looking at it now, like? I mean, I look at it like nostalgically, like I can't believe I've changed so much, but I also remember it like it was yesterday. Like it seems like a million years ago and it seems like yesterday. Because I know I still am very much in touch with what that felt like and where I was emotionally at that time. And in certain respects, I was a completely different person, but that's still who I am, you know? And it's, I actually like it because I can, it helps me remember what I used to be like. And I need to remember that because if I forget, then that's what begins the process of leading backwards, back towards that, you know? So I kind of like coming back here and because it's even in like the air, like the way the air smells here, like reminds me of it. Oh, that you're not available. Oh, the real.